So we're at the New York Auto Show, and this is the P5 prototype of Elio Motors. It's the first one with our own engine in it, and that's a significant milestone for us. It's the first time that a new American vehicle company showed a vehicle with its own engine in it since Nash did it in 1951. So it's been 65 years since that's been done. So what we're unveiling uh, tomorrow at the New York Auto Show is the new E-Plus system. And it's a totally new way to distribute a vehicle. So the big manufacturers uh, can literally build millions of different combinations of a given platform. And they don't because that would cripple their inventory system. So they package it together to constrain their build sequences to three to 500. We're gonna do it differently. We're only gonna build it two ways, standard, automatic, that's it. All the, uh, they all come with air conditioning, power windows, power door locks, and a stereo. All the rest of the upscale content you're used to seeing on your vehicle, you can get on your Elio, but we had it post manufacture so you come in, you tell us what you want, and you get your vehicle exactly the way you'd like it. So the benefit of E-Plus to the customer is, is several. Um, first, they get their new technology first. The auto parts manufacturers create most of the content for a vehicle, and they have a hard time getting that content on because all the OEMs want to be second to market. Nobody wants to be first because if they integrate something in and it doesn't work, that, that's bad for their brand. Because we're adding it post-manufacture, it's easy to take off if it's not working. So we'll have a liberal re return policy so we can take that risk. Um, so you'll get, and, and also because of their design cycle, if they get enamored with a particular technology, it takes three to four years before you see it. You'll see it right away, you'll see more stuff, and the OEM's not making the decision for you. There's competing products. They decide which one you, they're gonna put on, you get to decide which one you're gonna put on. Um, it, the vehicle stays relevant for a lot longer, right? Technology gets bundled in and, and integrated, and three years later when that technology is no longer relevant because electronics in, in particular move so much faster than the useful life of a car, you're stuck driving an obsolete vehicle. Because this is added post-manufacture, you can swap it out for the next new thing as it come, develops. So we're gonna build 100 pre-production vehicles at the Shreveport facility in December. And it's a significant milestone in our march towards production. So we initially, we're going to do the pre-production vehicles for internal testing. And now I think we're going to sell them to fleet uh, use so we get real-world testing out of it. And it's the final validation as we tool up for high-volume production in 2017.